Emerging technologies are creating new security challenges, which means that those tasked to meet those challenges can never rest on their laurels. The message from Defence Minister Ng Eng Hen as he urged the Singapore Armed Forces and the defence technology community to work even more closely together. There's an essential ingredient for this seamless optics integration to occur. And that seamless ingredient is trust. Here I'm glad that the DCC has won the trust of the SAF counterpart. Through common trials and successes, the SAF and the defence technology community have built up trust and a deep understanding of each other. Dr. Ng presented the annual Defence Technology Prize Awards this evening, recognising those who've made significant technological contributions to the country's defence capabilities. The winners included the engineering team behind the Army's first fully digital fighting vehicle, called the Hunter. The Hunter made its debut earlier this year, but the vehicle was first conceptualised more than a decade ago. During the planning stage, the engineering team spent many hours using 3D modeling software to get the design right. This saves cost as compared to building many prototypes. This lab allows users to simulate operating the Hunter instead of testing it out in the field. By doing this, the time taken to conduct tests is reduced by 70% and it significantly cuts down on resources as well. It is easier to identify and troubleshoot faults, and especially so for complex systems. This lab also aims to do more with less through the use of automation tools to expedite testing with lesser engineering resources. This also shortens the time to fill new capabilities. The Hunter's streamlined process also helps reduce maintenance costs by 40%. It is also piloting an augmented reality function that can reduce training duration for engineers during maintenance and recovery operations. On top of that, there is also a monitoring system that helps to identify faults. With these systems, the soldiers can now rely on it to identify and troubleshoot faults within seconds, which would otherwise have taken hours in the past. With more than 1,000 parameters being locked by the system, we can now apply analytics on the data collected for fault trend analysis or to make recommendations for condition-based maintenance to drive down operating costs. Individuals were also recognized for their contributions in the field. Among them is an explosions expert. Her work in explosives testing and analysis of blast effects have enhanced the protection of key defense infrastructures. In Singapore, we, we are a very small country and everything is very, very built up and urbanized. And for example, in the area of explosive safety, we need to store our explosives safely. And that's one of the reasons why we developed the underground ammunition facility. And when we developed that, we had to also close technology gaps in how to build these kind of rock heavens of such nature and how to make sure that the explosive hazards are reduced. Other winners include a naval systems director who played an instrumental role in building up Singapore's strategic submarine capabilities, including the latest invincible class submarines that pushed boundaries in their design and the integration of their combat and platform systems.